there have been many updates in the field of science and technology. The latest one was regarding the GM mustard. So in this video, we will be discussing regarding GM mustard and the latest news and also since it is a GM crop, we will also look into GM crop that is genetically modified crops. Hi, it's Fatima Nastin and welcome to Ega My Ains. So why in news? The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee that is GEAC has cleared the proposal for commercial cultivation of genetically modified mustard or GM mustard. So from this news you have to look into three matters that is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee, uh, what is that uh, committee and its functions and then the other term is commercial cultivation that is proposal, it has accepted the proposal for commercial cultivation. So what is that commercial cultivation? Then regarding the genetical, genetically modified crops, especially in this case genetically modified mustard. So these are the key uh, three keywords from this news, GEAC, then commercial cultivation and regarding GM crop and uh, especially GM mustard. Okay, so without further ado, let's look into these three matters. So what is genetically modified crops? According to World Health Organization, the genetically modified organisms are organisms in which their genetic materials are altered so that we will get a new species which are not uh, naturally found in our environment. So that is genetically modified organism. And when such genetic alternation makes or happens in a crop, then that is genetically modified crops. All right. In a genetically modified crops, genes are artificially inserted from another species to get a desired properties. If we want to get a crop which is pest resistant, then we will insert a gene that is having from another species that is having pest resistant and we will insert artificially to this particular crop so that we will get a plant which is pest resistant. So that is what is called desired properties. What we desire uh, or the property that we desire in that particular crop we are inserting through an artificial method or we are inserting a gene from another species which is having that property to a crop which does not exhibit that property and through this artificial insertion this desired property will be uh, inhibited by this crop. So that is the basic idea of uh, genetically modified crops to get a desired property and some of the technologies used for this uh, artificial insertion of genetics are gene technology genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology. Now if you remember the news it was uh, regarding the the committee approved for commercial cultivation of uh, GM mustard. So again the uh, second keyword was commercial cultivation. So as of now in India only BT cotton uh, has the permission for commercial cultivation which means large scale cultivation and it can be exported to various part of the uh, countries and that is what is commercial uh, cultivation it is cultivated for commercial purpose so as of now in india only bt bt cotton has the permission for commercial cultivation so this is an important thing that you have to keep in mind there was a previous year question uh, regarding um, this particular statement so and there were many news regarding our gm rice and um, it had a lot of issues in the europe regarding our gm rice so our committee has reported that there is um, GM crops are not commercially cultivated in India. So connecting this news with that news, uh, this GM crops and the commercial cultivation and BT cotton, it's all important. And also another factor is that UPSC have asked many questions regarding genetically modified crops and also they have asked questions regarding GM mustard. So this area is very important. So again, uh, once again, BT cotton is only a GM crop that has commercial for permission for commercial cultivation. So BT cotton it is a, a GM crop that is genetically modified crop and the BT uh, stands for uh, a soil bacterium which is Bacillus thuringiensis and this because of the presence of this uh, BT uh, it protects or it has a protein that is toxic to some insect insects and it prevents the cotton from any insect attack. So that is the desired property which get uh, which has been incorporated to BT cotton. Okay, so only BT cotton has the permission for commercial cultivation in India and the soil bacterium is Bacillus thuringiensis and it is against pest attacks. Now GM mustard, 
So the variety of GM mustard that uh, was created is the Dara Mustard Hybrid DMH11 and it had two protein that is Barnes and Bastar. So with this uh, by, by the process of hybridization this uh, Dara Mustard Hybrid was created. So from the term itself it is hybrid. So it is through the process of hybridization this GM mustard was created. And the soil bacterium used is Bacillus amyloliquefacin and it is a hybrid seed production. So it is for seed production and in, in for a Bt cotton it was against pest, resi uh, pest resistance and in case of GM mustard it is a hybrid uh, for seed production. All these are keywords so you have to know uh, the special feature of GM mustard. Alright, move on. Now let's see what are the advantages of GM crops. Obviously our farmers uh, faces lot of issues regarding uh, their, their crops. We know that many farmers attempting suicide because of the failures of their crop. So GM crops is one of the uh, you know solution for such issues related to farmers. So this they, since they are pest resistant they are um, for seed protections etc. This will uh, further enhances their cultivation, their productivity and it will uh, help in increasing their income etc. So that is an advantage uh, for GM crops. And another thing that we have discussed, it can resist from pests and insecticides etc. And it increases soil fertility because it does not, if uh, we use a desired property as it requires only less for for, um, nutrients from the soil, then such crops will uh, what? increase the fertility of soil then again nutritional value we can uh, you know in, in input or we can uh, what artificially insert genes which has higher um, what nutritional values so that is an advantage of gm crop it enhances nutritional value then higher yield of course we definitely does not require that much fertilizers as we uh, use it for normal crops so and again we, we know that it has increased nutritional value, it requires less fertility, I mean fertilizers. So all these, you know, input is lesser but outcome is higher and it that leads to higher yield. Okay. And again, another feature is it requires only small area of land. Then longer shelf life since there is no pest attack or uh, insect attack and any other issues. So it leads to longer shelf life. So these are some of the advantages you can add on it um, regarding the GM crops. Now let's see obviously there, there are some disadvantages. So let's see what are the disadvantages of GM crops. Disruption of ecosystem and biodiversity. So we know that we are inserting, artificially inserting some uh, genes or we are making some alternation in the existing genes to create a new variety of uh, species. So it is, it can cause, uh, it is not scientifically that much proven, no, um, you know, proper um, evidence for that, but still we can say it, it, uh, it can disrupt other uh, species in the, in that same ecosystem. So it may disturb the ecosystem and biodiversity by favoring one organism. That means others will face the pest attack and insect attack, but this one does not face the such thing. So it is favoring one species or organism. So that is a disadvantage of GM crop. And another thing is it is not through natural process. So it is disrupting the natural process that is the gene flow because we are inserting a a new gene and by and thus creating a new gene. So the offspring of such um, GM crop creates another which is different from like GM tomato. It is uh, you know creating another offspring of another GM tomato. It is different from the normal tomato. So it is disrupting the natural flow of genes. So that is another disadvantage of GM crop. Then comes the increased uh, cost of cultivation that means uh, see, this is a scientific method, so it requires a lot of, uh, you know, technologies and uh, equipments. So, it increases cost of cultivation. So, that is another disadvantage. Then, endangered native species. So, it is, um, you know, um, affecting all the weeds uh, as well as insects which, uh, you know, prefer these uh, crops. So, again, it is, it endangers the native species.
and also there have been many concerns regarding the human health problems like uh, what happens if we consume a crop that is or genetically altered and such th things but if they are not scientifically proven but uh, since they are genetically altered there are some uh, issues or concerns regarding human health now see they are genetically modified right so the bacteria or insects that consume these thing can also affect or will be some other variety of uh, insects or bacteria so this can develop a new strain of bacteria so these are some of the disadvantages of gm crop again these are not enough but you can add it based on uh, your updation of this in, uh, information so these are some of the major disadvantages and we, we have also seen the advantages of gm crops and that is regarding the gm crop now in, at the beginning i have said or mentioned about a committee and it is very important committee so let's look regarding the genetic engineering appraisal committee so it is under or this genetic engineering appraisal committee comes under the ministry of environment forest and climate change and it is a statutory body under established under the environment protection act of 1986 so the main function of a genetic engineering appraisal committee is to regulate the use manufacture storage import and export of hazardous substance uh, and also genetically modified organisms in india so this is a major function of geac that is why they give the proposal for commercial cultivation of gm master all right now it is the apex body which uh, gave the permission for commercial cultivation or pro commercial release of gm crops very important point now there are punishments for the uh, illegal cultivation of gm crops so they can go to uh, or they can get a jail term of 5 years or can have a penalty of rupees 1 lakh so that is regarding genetic engineering appraisal committee very important area uh, revise it. it you have to know it is a statutory body under environmental protection act 1986 and the functions also okay now let's move on to our today's model question three statement question read each statement carefully and try to find the answer and write the answer in the comment section below the answer the explanation and the detailed material will be provided in the telegram channel the link to our telegram channel will be provided in the description below and finally if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching